So you're using naloxone if you suspected somebody uh, had had an opioid overdose. So there'd be a blue tinge to the lips, uh, they'd be unresponsive, uh, the breathing would take on a sort of a, a rasping, uh, sort of shallow rasping sound, uh, it sounds quite unpleasant, and the pupils would be very, very small. Obviously the first thing to do is to phone 999, you know, phone the ambulance. Um, it's also very important that we train all our sort of staff and everyone we train in Loxone, um, such as service users, families, the recovery position. Um, so obviously it's very important that the patient doesn't choke, you know, they're in the recovery position. So you'd open the, open the box, unscrew the cap, screw on one of the needles, and take the cap off the needle and you then inject into the muscle at 90 degrees. You can be quite forceful because it'll go quite deep into the muscle. and then you give, there's five metered doses marked on the syringe, each one's 0.4 milligrams of naloxone. You're not gonna hurt them by giving them too much. Give them one metered dose, wait two to three minutes. If they still haven't come round, you can then give them another, another dose. You, get, you can give them chest compressions in between while you're waiting for the two to three minutes. And just keep administering until either they come round or the paramedics arrive. When the person comes round, obviously you're putting them into instant withdrawals. So the more you give, the worse they may feel, but obviously you've just saved a life. So you give as much as you need to to save a life to bring them round.